Hey everyone, it's the Paca Pastor, and as promised, every Sunday until the Holy Spirit says otherwise, there will be a prayer session. A prayer session for you. A prayer session for a loved one. A prayer session for a perfect stranger. A prayer session for whoever is on the other end of this recording. And if you ever have a prayer request, you can always DM me. Or if you have something that's a little bit more private, something that may need some context and social media is limiting you, you could always email me at pocketpastor.19 at gmail.com. The link is in the bio, but again, that's pocketpastor.19 dot 19 at gmail.com and this evening I have something on my heart for those that that are kind of on the fence on the fence for choosing Jesus as their Lord and Savior over their life or continuing to live life as they're currently living. The one thing I do want to say about that is, and this is not a judgment, this is not to make you feel bad, but the Bible does speak about being double-minded. And in doing so, by not choosing God, but kind of choosing both, You're actually just on the other side of the fence. So today, you know, I would like to challenge you to to pray into that decision. To pray into asking God to reveal something to you that's so undeniable that it will eventually have you running into his arms because he's waiting for you. He's waiting for you to make that decision. But with that being said, if you can, why don't you bow your head, close your eyes, and let's begin to pray to our Heavenly Father. Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day, another Sunday that you've woken us up and that you have chosen to give us your love and your mercy and your grace. Lord, we thank you for all that you are and all that you've done ahead of us already because you are the God of yesterday, today, and forever. There is nothing that surprises you, shocks you, seems to be out of order to you, because you are the order. You are the perfectness. You are what we've been searching for. Lord, we ask for your forgiveness your forgiveness on things that we may have done, things that you may have told us to and we just discarded that thought, things that we've done that have been just a foul aroma to you, Lord. We ask for your forgiveness. Whatever that thing may be, Lord, whatever that vice is, whatever that addiction is, whatever that stumbling block is, Lord, We ask for your help to overcome it. We ask for your help to get closer to you on this day. Lord, I just want to pray for those who are on the fence, Lord. Those that know your name. Those that have heard about the goodness of Jesus Christ, Lord, and 
the miracles and the signs and wonders those that have maybe even experienced healing those that have maybe experienced something that they still can't explain but they know it comes from you also those that may have never heard of you before but because of the season they're in because of where life has led them to this point they are at the end of themselves and that is where you begin to do your finest work Lord when we've thrown down everything we have Lord at your feet and just ask and plead for your help with tears running down our face Lord because we don't know what else to do Lord today I would be honored to stand in the gap for those that are on the fence those that are still indecisive Lord those that are just wondering about leaving the life that they know to the life that you intended for them which is unknown at this point it's a scary decision Lord because we know those things we have good bad or indifferent and we know of what we've heard about the goodness of God the good things that you have but we we don't know them we don't know them personally we haven't experienced them and the world has groomed us into if it sounds too good to be true it probably is but Jesus you said you are the way the truth and the life you cover all the bases in your fullness in your perfectness so Lord for those today those that are looking for a true change a complete change in their life a, a new life Lord that's why it's called born again if they seek to be born again and place you above all things above their family and their children and their loved ones and their jobs and their money and material things if they place you first above all things then it won't be easy but you will be with them every step of the way making that crooked road straight hmm. we thank you Lord we thank you that you continue to give us opportunities to be with you or to be closer to you and to gain that relationship to fill that hole in our body and our heart that only you can fill Lord may those on the fence today make that decision and when they walk away from that fence and start walking closer to you May the only time they look behind them is to see how far you brought them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray all these things. Amen and amen.